Remember this? I christened the plenary hall in Brussels as Strasbourg. To get bureaucratic confirmation, I also introduced this petition. Surprisingly, it was accepted and approved as petition number 1156-2019. And it was even declared an urgency. I don't really know what urgency means, but we are in the fast lane now. Today I will be able to present my ideas to the Petty Committee. They will discuss it and I will also probably get an answer by the Commission. Let's see. Thank you, esteemed guests from the Commission and dear members of the Petition Committee. Just a few months ago I made European history. I probably don't need to remind you, I assume you're still talking about it. But allow me to recount what happened to help my future biographers. Last November, I ended the Parliament's sixth decade double seat debacle. And all it took was a post it note. How? I found a loophole in the treaty provision that determines the Parliament's seat. It said the Parliament must meet in Strasbourg 12 times a year, but it didn't specify which Strasbourg. Sure, most people just assume Strasbourg, France, 450 kilometers away, but that's only because there was no alternative. Now there is Strasbourg, Brussels, 450 meters away. I named the hemicycle here Strasbourg. This way, you can all meet there every month without having to change a single word of the treaties. Why was this necessary? The second seat is a waste of money. It costs a half billion euros per legislative period. It's also a waste of time. You all lose 100 hours a year traveling to France and back. And it's also a waste of space. The gigantic buildings in Strasbourg are empty 300 days a year. Imagine if you used all that time, money and space for something Europe actually needs. Like a non-elite university for all the 20-year-olds for whom Europe fails to provide jobs or, or a luxury shelter for all the refugees that Europe fails to treat like human beings. But most importantly, the second seat is a waste of planet Earth. Every year you emit 20,000 tons of CO2 traveling to Strasbourg, where you meet to declare a climate emergency. It's clear you know what you are talking about, you're helping to create this emergency. I took matters in my own hands and christened the plenary hall myself. Here is the proof. Now I'm just asking for the Parliament to give the new name its bureaucratic blessing because my post-it note keeps falling. We need a real sign. Uh, I have it here prepared. Um, I already have one. I just need the Bureau of Parliament to, to confirm the name. And then we can just do it immediately. I, I need the building managers to let me hammer this to the wall. Some of you will say that this is a joke, and I totally agree. The fact that we travel to Strasbourg and back for no good reason, that's a hilarious way to show how wasteful and chaotic the EU can be. But as a person who sometimes makes jokes, let me inform you, if you tell the same joke one over and over for 60 years, it is no longer funny. So please support my petition. This is your chance to change the course of Europe's future, literally. Let's finally stop going around in circles. May this, may this 9 a.m. session of the Petty Committee be the historic moment when the European Parliament finally rises up and takes control of its own destiny. Thank you very much. So we just had a 20-minute debate on my proposal.
that I can certainly understand the arguments put forward by our colleague because for such a long time now uh, we have uh, been uh, seriously discussing this issue. We all know what uh, is at stake here. Some criticised the idea of renaming the plenary hall, but nobody had a better idea. I believe that the method used by the petitioner could have been much better. The story of the second seat is so old and hopeless that even my proposal was made before. So, it's, uh, I, I guess we can make more archaeological research, but, but, so, but you are not the first, I'm very sorry, <laughs> with this idea, but the idea is brilliant, thank you. The Commission answered that Strasbourg and the treaties refers to Strasbourg and France. In the view of the Commission, it's beyond any doubt that the reference in the protocol number six to Strasbourg as the place where 12 monthly plenary sessions must be held legally refers to the French city of Strasbourg in the region of Alsace and not to any other city or place named Strasbourg. I would consider this a risky defense strategy because it's literally based on nothing. If you want to help us or just bother people in power, you can now sign the petition online, link below.